Okay, we're covering section two. Starting. Unfamiliarity with procedure to start engine. Pretty straightforward. Well, it's changed a little bit nowadays. You have to hold the clutch in uh, with the gear stick in neutral to turn the motor on. That's always been the way. Your handbrake should be on. You should be in neutral with the clutch in. Now, if your clutch isn't in, it's not even going to turn over these days in a lot of modern cars, which means you can't jump start the car, by the way, which is kind of stupid. If you ever get a flat battery, you can't dump the clutch uh, in, in gear when you're rolling it down a hill because uh, that overrides it. That's another story. Starting procedure. You've got to be knowing what to do. Racer's engine. You don't rev the living shit out of it once you get it started. Unless it's grandma's car, don't do that because it's not going to look good in a driving test either. So that's pretty straightforward. Don't rev the shit out of it. You can work it out what speed, what engine speed you're doing. Fails to depress, depress clutch pedal well in a manual car, of course, you've got to hold the clutch in to start it. In neutral with the clutch in so it's a double protection about, so you don't run over some poor bars that stand in front or behind the car. Uses wrong gear to start. Well, that's obvious too. You start off in first or reverse when you're moving off. That's what it's talking about. You don't try and take off in second. Even at the top of a hill, they don't like it if you're getting assessed. And it's probably not the best way to do it. In trucks, totally different. You, you be in the gear you need to move off on. That's, that's fairly straightforward with a truck. Uh, you can skip shift as well. We'll cover that a bit later, but skip shifting is quite appropriate, uh, even in the modern car. Especially now, they like to put about 20 gears in cars when you don't need that many bloody gears. It's like having 25 on a push bike and you only need three. However, they're doing that now, six gears in a car, trying to get fuel efficiency. Also, with the motors that stop and start at lights, it's, it's crazy, it's unnecessary, and they're going to prove that one day. But anyway, I'm detracting from the subject here. You must use the correct gear to move off. Fail to release handbrake. Very common, very common in driving tests for people, especially when they're nervous, they forget to drop the handbrake before they go. The handbrake should be secured, but once you get ready to move off, make sure you release the handbrake. It's um, just one of those things that people forget. It's no big deal because the red light or the orange light will be on the dash and you'll know, you'll realise because the car's not going to move. As long as you realise, you don't just keep trying to move off. Now, moves off in jerks or stalls, you don't want to be jerking off down the street, uh, I mean the car, and you don't want to be headbutting the bloody window with the assessor beside you. You don't want to end up uh, getting back there with bandages on everything. You don't need to make a fool of yourself. You've got to drive off smoothly. Automatic cars nowadays, pretty straightforward. You've got no problems with that. Stalling is not an issue. Hit the clutch, kick the starter straight away. That's all you do. If you stall it and you're doing a manoeuvre, don't buggerise around putting it back in neutral. Put your clutch in and flick the key.